In today's video, I'll be showing you how to add a photo widget to the home screen on the Samsung Galaxy A35 5G. So start by long pressing on an empty space on your home screen, and then select the option widgets. From here, scroll through the various options until you find gallery, tap on it, then select the widget you wish to use, and then add. Next, you'll need to give permission for gallery to access your photos and videos. You can choose between allow limited access, which means only select photos and videos are allowed to be used, and allow all, which means everything that will be taken from your camera roll or your saved photos from the cloud can be utilized. So choose the option that suits your preferences. And then you can use a pre-created album or you can choose certain images. It's up to you. Then select the images. You can choose as many as you want, but the limit is 1000. So be careful of which images you choose to use. Once you've made your choice, tap on done and you should see your newly created widget. So now you can move your widget around. You can increase or decrease its size as well as customize how the widget looks like. So to move it around, just long press on the widget, then drag it around on your screen. To move it across home screen pages, drag it across the border until you enter the next page. And then to place it, just let go of the screen. Next, to increase or decrease its size, use these handles that appear around the widget to increase or decrease the size of the widget. And it's up to you to customize how it would go. Next, if you wish to change the images of the widget or how the photos are presented on the widget, simply long press on it and select settings. From here, you should see the option images to show tap on it, choose again between album and images, then tap on the images you wish to be seen, then select done. Next, we can choose the display method of the photos. So currently it's set to center and fill widget, but if you choose fit to widget, you should see the preview showing how it would look like. And you also have stretch to fill widget and it would look like that. So you may have noticed that when you select fit to widget, you also have the option of adding a background color, as well as the opacity, you can change it to your liking and having it match with dark mode. So once you've customized the widget, tap on save to apply the changes, and you should see your widget now proudly being displayed on your home screen. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and we'll get back to you.